Okay, so I think we can start the presentations. And uh, you know, in software engineering, one of the most important but very challenging problems is about Oracle, right? So if you want to know the programs is correct within Oracle, which means that we need to have a definition of the, what is a, to have the definition of the correct behaviors. And these correct behaviors will be guide us to write a test case. For example, it will be easier for us to generate the test inputs like A equals to one, B equals to one, et cetera. But what is supposed to outcome? It could be zero, it could be five. And that is, uh, and, and the outcome is uh, the ground truth outcome is the test oracle. And also, if we want to debug the programs, want to repair the programs, and test oracle is also very important for us to make a reference. So today, and we have an XC twenty two twenty two paper, right? So it is, uh, I think it, it is one of the best papers these years, and it is a combination between the neural network model and the test case generation. So if I'm please. Oh, I said the search is the distinguished paper award for the mm -hmm. XC. Yeah. I yeah. don't know what is the best. Yeah. So today I will talk about this paper called Toga. It is a neural method for test oracle. Hello. So first is the others. Hello, could you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. <laughs> so today, I. I I will talk about the TOGA, a neural method for test oracle generation. It is published in uh, 2020 XC. And uh, here is the uh, here is the uh, others. And uh, the first other is Elizabeth, and he is a PhD student at the Pennsylvania, and uh, he mostly focuses on the code, code and uh, models of code and the software engineering tasks. And uh, the other all the others are all focused on the program analysis and the synthesis. And I think this work is finished in his internship in Microsoft because you know the last uh, supervisors, last supervisor uh, supervisors, uh, last uh, last uh, professor, awesome. yeah, professor is in the. Uh, Microsoft. He's a senior principal researcher in Microsoft. Mm. Yeah. So that's for the others. So let's first introduce the background. First, what is the unit testing? So for the uh, unit test is composed of two parts: a prefix which drives the unit under test to an interesting state, and the oracle which specifies a condition that the resultment statement should satisfy. So typically we can think this is a unit testing. It has two, you know, two parts. The first part is the prefix. It defines something. And then it's the oracle. This is test something. So this is two part. And uh, that's a taxonomy. The first is normal invocations. So here is the left is the normal invocations. And uh, the right is the uh, exceptional behaviors. So there are the two different types. A sufficient expressive uh, test suit should document functionally under both normal invocations, where you know the precondition is met, and the exceptional behaviors where the predict precondition is violated. So the left is met, and the right may be violated. And uh, here is the previous work. So first is the evil suit. This is a regression oracle assumes that the current behavior is correct, resulting in an incorrect oracle asserting that the stack is non-empty. Non so for this example, the stack maybe is non-empty, then it will get an incorrect assertion. So this is the called regression test. Okay, so maybe I could ask a question here. Do, can, do you know what is regression bug? No, I, I actually, I feel confused why it is called a regression. You need to check you are the, you are the presenter, right? So here the regression or regression bug means that uh, there used to be a function working quite well before but after certain change, this function does not well does not work anymore. 
So this is this bug is called regression, which means that given a regression bug, uh, there must be a past version as a reference. A past okay. Okay. Are you getting my point or not? Not. So, so you mean uh, in the past there will be a correct uh, version? Yeah. So which means that there is a version maybe three months ago, it'll be it working. It is working. For example, you write a database, right? Where you log in three months ago, you can log in. But after you make some change on the code, and now when you log into that, the code does not work. And this bug is called a regression bug. Okay. Hmm. And the regression testing is usually the regression testing is going to, to generate test cases to detect whether any modifications introduce some bug, which makes existing function does not work anymore. Hello? So it, it will first test uh, the current code and then want to generate uh, maybe some incorrect cases, incorrect uh, example. We can, so here there's a tool called Eva Suite. Even so it is true to generate test cases, but it may not, but it cannot generate Oracle, right? Okay. So here, so here you're talking about the problem, right? You're talking about the problem. Yeah, actually the paper just this, uh, introduced some background or previous method. And the one of method it said it is evil suit. And it, uh, you know, they said the, the regression Oracle, it is part of employed by the evil suit. You know, so so in the invo suit you use the or, or regression oracle. Mm. So I'm not quite you know familiar with this, so I don't know. <laughs> you you need to understand the details. You know, I understand your expertise does not lie in this, right? Yes. But but the point is that if you want to be a researcher in the future, you need to update the knowledge in a very in a very efficient way, you know, so in the past, so the web development used to be very hot, right? And then the Android development would be very hot. So if you are, you are a researcher, maybe five or 10 years ago, you need to learn web development and the Android applications in a very fast way so that they can keep at the pace, right? So you know, there are a lot of Android papers there. But now the AI paper, now AI, it is not age of AI, right? So every people is learning AI. So you are learning AI now. And, and, and now there's a new coming, there's an emergent research area like blockchain, right? And we don't know what, it, what is very hot in, in, two, in, in five or 10 years, which means that you always need to embrace the new stuff. So when you read these papers, you, you definitely need to expand your knowledge, right? So, okay, so here you're talking about the regression, how the EVA suite generate the regression test, right? Yeah, but okay. uh, this paper talk about that, but I'm not quite- But, but this paper is just an addition or enhancement of EVA suite, right? Yeah, yes. Mm. All right, let's move on. Oh, by the way, is there any questions here? Hello? Uh, yeah, I, I, I want to, I want to connect. can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, and so, also your background. So, um, okay, so I'd like to ask that, so in this case, you're catching a bug that we're, the, the paper's author catch a bug with the evil suits generation, is it? Yeah, so they, I think they need to use evil suite as a facility. I think there are work built upon evil suite. <laughs> okay, it's noisy. Mm. Yeah, very clear. Okay, so for the, Another type is called a safety test. The safety oracle employed by the Randoop assumes that any non-crashing behavior is correct. So as such, it results in an incorrect oracle asserting that an exception should not be raised when calling pop on an empty stack. So in this example, you can see, so when calling the pop on an empty stack, Stack, it will fail if it gets an uh, exception. So if, if, if they did not get an exception, it will be a bug. So that is a safety test. Any questions? Oh, by the way, uh, uh, Yifan, when you are in, 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 in Shanghai, so have you learned this write a test cases by yourself in the software engineering course? Mm, maybe I quite not quite <laughs> sure. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. 
So uh, another method called the specification mining methods, and this is aimed to generate test oracles that accurately reflects the intended behavior, but they do not require exact execution execution <laughs> execution <laughs> so instead they rely on dark string uh, documentation so here is the example they just uh, defines a set of natural language dark string patterns so this is specification mining methods and uh, so for the last method is called the neural methods the uh, an example is called atlas and uh, here is the example uh, for the neural method, you know, the neural uh, network models, they just uh, use like the RNN or the transformer, and uh, they just uh, relies on the unit's implantations and uh, does not have any knowledge of the dark string documentations. So they just uh, put all the, you know, all the code and the possible uh, prefix of the oracle and a prefix of the test and that does not attempt to infer any exceptional oracles. So they just uh, have an assertion placeholder and they want to predict the assertions. So this is called Atlas. And it is, you know, the first uh, neural methods. Where is published Atlas? Uh, XC, I think. Quick, you can quick, can you quickly search those authors? I saw me this tall ship from, uh, from Peking University. So you. Can you quickly check where the author, what, who is author of Atlas? Uh, how to? Let you can just use the browser, right? We we'll just share your browser. But I needed to first find the paper. We just need to Google Atlas. No, and no. With... Atlas will not get the result. I think I checked before. And, and with additional keywords like software engineering or XC. Uh. Oh, two years ago, Dennis. Yeah. So it's a pay, it's a work from um Wood and Mary's, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can share this. Could you share this on on WeChat to me? Okay. Mm. You mean this paper? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is the first neural method. So the, this paper mostly want to, you know, enhance the atlas, enhance the neural methods. And uh, the paper, uh, the others, you know, uh, they just want to have some insights in the previous work. So the first is, I just mentioned the automated test generators. They can drive units to interesting state, but they need better oracles. The second is the specification mining methods. They are accurate, but depend on precise strings. The third is the neural methods. They are flexible, but maybe you know predict some errors. And uh, so the others first do a you know oracle taxonomy on all the test cases. They develop a taxonomy of common oracle structures based on unit tests from the methods to test data set. And they manually inspected 100 random samples and categorized the, the most frequently occurring types of oracles they observed. So the first is a bit like rule. And the, the first rule is expected exception oracles. They think that this type of oracles verifies exacting the test prefix with some the invalid usage raises an exception. They are most frequently expressed with the following structure. First is a try and then is a catch. So this typical structure is like this. So here is the question. So I gave you this test full function. Would you give me the maybe the possible oracles. Okay, <clears throat> who would like to volunteers? Or maybe you find you can point, you can appoint 
an audience and ask him or her uh, for the questions and after you rephrase your questions, right? Okay, let me check uh, for uh, who are. <laughs> you already are you already giving an answer. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> so maybe this is uh, just the first try. I have three more questions later. Okay, maybe you can just go back so people cannot remember all of that. You can you can ask an audience. Okay, maybe Xiangling. Um, just add a try and catch <clears throat> following, following the call. Right, and yeah. add the assert fail after uh, fail. Is that, is that a fail or is that pass? Uh, fail. Fail. Okay, oh. you find, can you give the answer? Yeah, <laughs> actually, you first uh, catch the exception. But it's also a third exception because uh, you need to know which type of the exception. So for this type, this is process noun. So it is a noun exception. So in this case, so Yu Fan has mentioned, in this case, it is on, um, we expect an expression is incurred, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in this case, if the exception happens, it is not a fail, it is supposed to be a pass. But of course, given it is in this case, uh, they are coded even need to assert what type of exceptions will be raised. So in this case, an arbitrary exceptions may not may just fail. It has to be a non point exceptions so that so that the test case can pass. Yes. Hmm. So it's called expected exception. It is expected. Hmm. So uh, and uh, the, here is assertion oracles. So this verifies you know correct return behaviors. Although they will also fail if any exception is thrown. So the first is balloon assertions. So here, the right is the example for the unit method call input and assert true if it gets the same status. And the non non nonness assertion. So if it's not non, uh, if the input is valid, it will should it should assert not non. Then if the input is invalid, it it should get a non assertion. And for the equality assertion, so you first give the method a message, and then you just check whether the message in the unit is the same as the message you gave him, you send him. So here is the three new type of assertion. So I'll also prepare three questions. Anyone can, you know, Volunteer, right? Yeah, give some assertion to test the function. So maybe you can ask the audience. The audience can write something down on your on your screen. Uh, maybe a Zhao Yu. Uh, do I need to write? <laughs> so or maybe you can just speak it. It is also fine. Okay. Uh, the first is uh, equality assertion. So uh, it will like, uh, can you go back to the previous slides? I kind of forget the... So no need for the specific no API. Need. You just need to mention what's supposed to be, X supposed to be what and Y supposed to be what. Yeah. Okay. Uh, X supposed to be food or get X. <laughs> <laughs> Um, X already being full dot get X. So how do you write assertion? <clears throat> so here you can see given the test cases, right? So we're uh -huh. generated the code. The, for example, we're testing the get X and get a Y method. So okay. we create an object for the full and we get X and get a Y from the object. And so these okay. things here is equality assertion. So what's supposed and what behavior these variables are supposed to be so that the test case can be passed. Uh, uh, maybe I can hmm. try. So I think okay. it should be equal to in X. Like for example, in in we define X to be full dot get X, hmm. and then we know the value maybe four or five. So we assert equals hmm. four, then comma in X. So assertion X equals four, something like that. Yeah. And how about Y? 
Uh, I think the same. So, so the why could three something like that, right? Mm. Yeah, something like this. Mm, yeah, just my inspection, my inspection. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, it's reasonable, different from mine, but it's reasonable. And then you find what is the ground truth? Yeah. What's your opinion? I think it's. I just agree with Yi Fan. Is Yi Fan? Oh, uh. <laughs> no, it's yeah, Zhang Yi. Um, it's Zhang Yi. Um, oh, Zhang Yi. I'm agree with Zhang Yi. Yeah. Yeah. Just. Uh, I think it is okay. It's reasonable. And and, and if I if I were the, the audience, were saying it, we can also um, have a quality x equals y. That is also possible, right? Yeah, but so it's... It, because Oracle it depends. Just like whether x equals to four, five, three, four or five or three. So it is depends on people. So as long as we can have assertion to test the equality relation, that is just okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm. But no need to uh, a concrete number. You mm. just uh, equal to something. This is okay. Mm. And for the Bloom assertion, maybe Zhao Yu try again. <laughs> um, maybe check whether status equals to true or, or equals to false. <laughs> yes. Uh, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's true. And for the non nonness assertion, so. You can. You can uh, point some someone else, or it's still ask Zhao Yu for the question. Oh, someone else. Okay, so maybe Nimisha is Nimisha here. Yeah, I'm here. So in that case, maybe we can check if four is null or not. Yeah, you can check whether the four is, uh, what. Yeah, so non, non, non or not, non or not non, right? So yeah, either yeah. It's, it's okay. Yeah, so either is okay. So this is how the uh, assertion do. So we just mentioned there are two type of oracle. The first is expected exception. The second is assertion oracles. So <laughs> the paper is mostly tried to you know generate these two types. So uh, just to summarize, the first is expected exception or no expected exception. The second is assertions. We have just mentioned the equality, blue, and the nonness. So it's just uh, you know define this grammar. Mostly focus on the uh, accept, ex assertion, and the accept. Okay. Any question for this part? Any questions? If there's no questions, let's move on. Okay, so now it goes to the... Maybe maybe I add something you know, in the previous slide. So here you can see that, so we are generating test oracle, but the test oracle will be represented in a form of code, right? So yes. in this case, so it is just a write a specification or basically it's write in a BNF form to say how the code would look like. So it is, we are not generating an arbitrary code. We are generating a code which can be used to represent a test oracle, right? So after all the assertion, so given the test cases and the test, there, what form the test case looks like and how the oracle be represented and how the exception could be represented and how the assertion is supposed to be. So we have these kind of the uh, grammar issues here. Yeah, so they will generate a <laughs> test oracle based on this grammar it will not violate the grammar. And uh, here is the framework. So here, the first the input, the input is first the test prefix and the method context. So method context means that you, if you want to test this method like pop, then you will add the context to the model. And uh, it will not include the, you know, the code of the method. It will only include the doc string and the name, function name of the method goes to a uh, classifier. The exceptional Oracle classifier is uh, you know, binary classification model and well, it will predict whether it is expected or not expected. If it is expe expected, then it will go to the first- You are talking about exception expected and exception not expected. Uh, yeah, yeah, exception hmm. <laughs> expected or not expected. Yeah, so if it is the exception is expected, then it will go to the try catch frame grammar. 
try catch grammar, the accept oracle. And uh, if it's not accept, expected, then it will generate assertions. I just mentioned the three types. So it is a ranker. So first it will use the grammar based on the grammar to generate many candidates of assertions. And then it will use the neural network models to rank all the candidates and generate the most possible one. So it is the framework. Any question about the framework? Uh, maybe I may raise a question on detail. So even for the exception expected, uh, there is something, there, there, um, there, you mentioned there, there just, we need to expect some specific exception, right? Yes. And how do, would, would the model consider this case? So as long as it already, or as long as it detect it is an expression expected, it will just uh, have a form like this. And we do not further care about what kind of exceptions will be raised. Yeah, it is a good question. But from the paper, I think they did, did not consider this situation. Mm -hmm. So if they raise an exception, it is okay. So not consider what's you know, a type of the exception, not very detailed. Mm. Yeah. But for the assertion, it was detailed with three types. And also there's, uh, I think, there's exception expected, right? So if there's exception not expected, uh, if we want to write a try catch, isn't that it will be reversed? So which means that the assertion fail will be changed to assertion pass in the example or in your in your example. Yes. So uh, the, what I mean is that um, it's expected. if I'm the one who designed approach, I will say exception related and exception unrelated. So which means that if exception unrelated, it will just to have some check assert, we will assert the quality, assert the, the, the true and false or assert the, the non, right? And if it is exception related, we will have exception expected and exception unexpected. If I'm the one who makes the taxonomy, I will do that. Because exception unexpected, we still need to write try catch in the core template. Mm. Maybe I'm not quite sure actually. Anyway, you are the you are the presenter. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so maybe. Uh, so for the first uh, neural network is exceptional oracle. So it's just the uh, Codebird because Codebird is published by Microsoft. So mm -hmm. they first use the Codebird pre-trained model and uh, fine-tuned on the methods to test the. Uh, uh, test to set, uh, test data set, which I just mentioned. They just use this data set to break, uh, you know, build the grammar. So they use this data set to train, fine tune the model. Oh, by the way, so anyone would like to, I suggest anyone would like to raise the questions. Of course, you do, you do need a questions. If you do have a questions, you feel puzzled and just raise a question, interrupt us, that will be totally fine. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so I just mentioned it's a binary classification. Here is the input, and they just uh, predict whether it is expected uh, exception, true or false classification. I think it's very easy. Can I can I ask what? Uh, how about the? I mean, train data x and y. I mean, I mean x. I know it's it's it's. It's what we uh, what you should, but how about why? Uh, I just want why is true or false? It is a supervised, uh, you know, training method. Uh, this is uh, you know, the pre-trained model by true. <laughs> and uh, this... let me explain. Let me explain to see what I can. Uh, so the idea is that uh, the approach is. Um, it's still it's called bird. It's still called the bird, but the code bird is is retrained with a specific task. So it will first we train code bird. Code bird will have the pre-trained task, but it, it is out of a discussion. Here we will have a method to method to to test the task. So it's basically it is a sequence to sequence generation, the task, right? So given a method, we generate the test cases. So as long as we can collect as many, as long as we can collect many on 
test cases and their methods, we can do this. So the, the code bird is retrained based on this task. And based on retrain models, we further train the model with a binary classification task. So the idea that given a test cases or given a method, whether we're going to generate a, an exception related oracle or exception unexpected relation or exception unrelated uh, oracle, right? Yeah, yeah. I just have an example here. Mm -hmm. So you can see here, it is a row sample. So this is whole is the, you know, a, a sample in the data set. And then you first train the code bird, you know, fine tune because the original code bird is trained on another data set. Now you want to fine tune to this data set. So you first train the whole data set. Now the sample is the sequence to sequence problem. It's not a binary classification. Then you just, uh, you know, follow the uh, task because now you need to remove the implementation of the method and remove the, you know, the uh, test uh, oracle. So now after you remove this, then you, then you another time you put all the data to the model and it will predict whether it expects an exception. That means whether it's a try catch structure or not. Mm. So it's a two steps. The first step is the fine tune process. And the second step is the binary classification. Any more question? Mm. How about zero? What would you mean by zero? Level it's zero. Oh, Level I mean, zero is unexpected, which means yeah. that they not expect exceptions for these test cases. It's not, not try catch structure, it's an assertion structure, maybe. Okay. Uh, did we mention the model architecture? I mean, I know. Suppose bird. we call the bird, right? Suppose we call yeah, the bird. The bird so. All the global. So, how about the binary classifier? They only it's still call the bird. It's still call the bird. You just put another, you know, layer, right? Another layer. You know, fully, fully one connected. layer, right? Yeah, fully connected layer to do oh, the binary okay. classification. Yeah. Okay, I see. Thank you. I, I find that cold bird area has been very clouded, right? So, a lot of people are actually doing this. Yeah. Mm, yes. There so, are so many applications. Yeah. Yeah. So for the next part is exception not expected. So this is a new model. For, so first we need to generate assertion. Before generate assertion, we need to first get some candidate because you know we just rank assertion. So this paper builds two dictionary. The first dictionary is local dictionary. This is, that means the dictionary is based on the test prefix. It's just the code in the test prefix. And the another is the global dictionary. It's about the whole data set dictionary. So this is a, there is the two dictionary. So based on the two dictionary, they based on the grammar we just mentioned to generate the assertion candidate. For example, here, maybe equals is this for red value. So this value, maybe it is one of the vocabulary in the local dictionary or one of the value in the global dictionary is all possible. So, so which means that this Oracle, this return value can only be retrieved from the constants of the whole program. Uh, no, you can see the string. There's some string in the dictionary. Yeah, I'm just saying that. So, so where did this string come from? It's from the code constant, right? So you have this constant is defining a code and you do this. Or maybe it's defining some configuration file and you just retrieve this one and put it into here. Yeah, so they are all constant, it's true, yeah. I guess that you can see this. So the here, the, this work is not for, so I think it's not that correct to say it is generate an Oracle. It just, I think it is a more accurate way is saying that the work is generate Oracle framework, right? Mm. So I just raised an example, given a calculator, I input 10 plus 10 equals what? So unless the value of 20 appears in a constant, it will not generate an accurate Oracle. Yeah, yes, it's true. Mm. Yeah, so, so maybe it's just have a classification 
whether it, it, it is exception, expected accession, unexpected. But well, I still have concerns, even for that, how would they, and what information would we have the guidance to lead us to have the understanding whether we, we require an exception? <laughs> also, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I just feel that it is some, maybe they have very good writing so that you can get the best paper. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I think yeah, our work maybe. is good. <laughs> our work is also good. But but anyway, they, okay. But I think, but anyway, we have to admit that they are using the code bird in a very smart way. So we, they do not using, using some random task in the code bird. They comparing the other approach, code bird is used, used in this work in a much more reasonable way. So that's what we can see, right? Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, okay. So, so for example, it's uh, here is the example. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's another question. So maybe you can guess what's the assertion templates the model can, the, you know, the candidate will be just uh, some guesses because now you can see uh, what, what the method want to test hmm. <laughs> anymore. You can I, ask someone who haven't answered the question. Okay, maybe uh, uh, Yifan, is Yifan here? Oh, yes. So now you get a method like this and here is a, a third placeholder. So you want to have some candidate to be this holder, to replace this holder. So what will be the candidate be? Mm. Yeah, if you want, want to write an assertion here, and we're gonna, what, what assertion you're gonna write here? Uh, what kind of assertion? Assertion, yeah. Maybe you mentioned before. Mm, mm, uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a quality. It's a it's a it's a quality assertion, or non point non assertion or exception assertion. I think it's uh, exception assertion. Exception assertion. Um, oh, okay. So how about Xiangling? Um, <clears throat> it's equal assertion. Equality. Uh, yeah, equality maybe B equals to <clears throat> two. Uh, equals to A. Yeah, it's like this. Mm -hmm. So it's the uh, equality assertion. Here is the answer. It may be uh, B equals two or B equals to A. The first two are high possibility for the candidates. So they just, uh, you know, just uh, put this template to this holder. So this is a new, you know, test oracle. So this is how the models work. So let's go to the experiment result. Uh, sorry, may I, may I ask, uh, how about the second model? What is the second model architecture? Second model, you mean the- uh, uh, Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, yeah, generation one. Yeah, it's just uh, predict, uh, you know, a probability score. I mean, which kind of model architecture? Code book? Yeah. Still code book? Yes, yeah, still code book. Uh, no, you, you can just uh, see this architecture. It will go to a uh, code bird to get a uh, embedding, you know, embedding. And then another model like so maybe I raise a question here. The ranker is the regression problem or a classification problem. So this is my question for the audience. Anyone would like to have a volunteer to have the answer? Uh, any volunteers? Maybe if I can help me appoint someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Um, maybe. So hard to spell Lee Penhan is a new guy. I didn't. Uh, hi. Uh, no. 
Sorry, for can you repeat your question? I could. The question is here is a here is a module called assertion or co-ranker, right? And for the, this is a net neural network model, right? And mm. the question here is that this model is going to have a classification problem, address the classification problems, or address the regression problem. So do you know about what is classification problem, the distinguished classification problem from the regression mm. problem? You know the difference? From a regression problem. Mm. Um, so you can classify whether it's a regression or not. Uh, no, no, no. I'm asking. So when you machine learning task, so there's a, usually have two kinds of task. One is about the classification classification task, and another is about the regression task. And do you know the difference between the classification and the regression? Uh, not really. Uh, Zhang Yi, do you know about the know their difference? Um, I think so. So maybe I can pitch in. So for a classification problem, basically you have multiple or two distinct. Classes, meaning that the result can maybe can only be zero or one or zero one two three four five, but whereas a regression problem would be that we want to map an interest to an out to a range of an output, and that can be a continuous value. Mm. Yeah, exactly. And so Zhang Yi, what do you believe that this assertion or co-ranker, it is an assertion problem or a classification problem? I think should be more like classification because mm. the rank value can be anything within a defined domain. So I guess that mm. based on that ranking value, we can perform something else. So mm. I feel that it should be a regression problem. Mm. Okay, you find, is that answer correct? Yeah, it's correct. Mm. So that's the predict uh, number or you know, you mean, uh, you know, continuous number. It is represent as the possibility how possibility is this can be the assertion, uh, can be the oracle. Any more problem, any more questions? Okay, let's move on. Uh, I just want okay. to change why it helps. So this, this is the last thing, that's why I confused. Yeah, I also agree it should be a regression. No, no, I... it's, no, it's classification. <laughs> Ah, sorry. It's a classification problem. I am the ranker. Yeah, ranker is a classification. Oh. So, ba so basically, there are soft max. So you can say there's a, li a limited number of assertion, right? Assertion equality, yeah. assertion true, assertion exception. So there's a class. So there are several classes. So mm -hmm. the assertion ranker is going to choose choose uh, right? So you find. I think it should be like a possibility, like. Mm, maybe uh, yes, uh, yes. for there are soft max for no 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 i think the uh, doctor mentioned two types but uh, in this mm -hmm. model they just uh, you know put uh, the candidate like put one candidate mm -hmm. to the architecture uh, you know to the whole uh, i mean for example this is the first so candidate. the question is whether the candidates are enumerable or countable you know, it, it will predict, for example, here is the five candidates, it will predict mm -hmm. five numbers and the, it will rank them. The first uh, will be the, you know, the highest possibility will be the two, will be, maybe I repeat okay. my, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it will, mm -hmm. for example, here will be five candidates. Based so, on which means number. this is still a regression problem. It's a regression yes, problem. It's a regression problem. Mm. But if you use soft max, then you maybe you just build a vocabulary and then you just uh, predict one of the vocabulary. So, here so in this model, model, where so, so in this model, there's a no general, there's another, so which means there's there, there the generation model, right? Or there's a the generative model. So, the assertion, right. the, the assertion non, assertion not non. Assertion equals are generated. No, they from the just sequence uh, model. based on the grammar. Yes, yeah, they are based on they are based on the grammar. But what about the variables two b and a b? So how do you generate these variables? Yeah, just make sure they have a dictionary. They put all possible words to the candidate. And so we, here, so here, the assertion is um. Um, you can see the. Assertion is a skeleton. Assertion equals is basically a skeleton, right? Yes. And those skeletons are numerable and countable, right? Yes. 
And uh, but for the parameters of these templates, it is it, it may have a huge number, right? Yeah, but they just use the dictionary of local and global. Yeah, but but one. yes, yes, but the dictionary could be very large. No, they they just uh, said the top K. <laughs> No, no, no. To whatever top K, the K could be large, right? The K can be 100. So which means that they may have 100 search equals statements there. Yeah, 100 candidates there. Yep. So they, they enumerate all the possible cases and ask the model to classify or to, to, to give a score for whether this candidate is reasonable or appropriate. Yes, yes. yes. And uh, I think Docklin, you just mentioned the soft max. You can predict uh, which you know word can be more possible to be the right value to be the parameter of. But, the there, but where the paper, where the authors are doing this? Uh, the paper I just mentioned, they just use all the possibility. They just predict all the candidates' possibility. So if there are one hundred candidates, it will run the model one hundred times and then get one hundred numbers and then rank them. So in this case, it's just going to choose or fill in the template, right? This, this scoring, this ranker is basically just a way to, to fill in, the, fill in the, the, the parameters of the templates. Hello? Yeah, maybe. Bring, but right. uh, so here you can say that we are the equals, right? So the equals one, the first parameter is supposed to be a variable. So yeah. this variable is supposed to be sure it can be defined. But yeah, how yeah. about the and how about the other constant and which constant to shoot? So it's basically um, a scoring function there. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, can, we can move on. Any questions here? Sorry, I still have a question about how large about the dictionary because you mentioned that actually the 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 the, the value is cho chosen from. Yeah, top K. top K. It's just uh, you know frequency. They mention all the all the word frequency and choose the top K, the most uh, frequent word. How 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 they define the frequency? I mean, how they generate the frequency? They count. They count the net. Yeah, the count. appearance. In what? In the program. In the program. The data oh, set. Okay. Data set. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I still feel it's it's still large, right? Yes, it's still very large. And the top uh, K, they just uh, so what if I make K went into one hundred? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't think it's quite you know innovative. It's just uh, <laughs> let's move on. I think Peking University will have another paper on that, but this is uh this is the latest one. So we we discussed it, and also this one the best paper. So he's yeah. coming here. Here you come, come, from, come to the experiments without, right? So I have a questions yeah. for the experiment uh, for the method methodology. Okay. Uh, what's the question? So, so here, um, I'm asking about test case generation, right? The test case generation is based on the event suite or based on the neural network model. Test case generation, yeah. which is how the data set. So here is the data set. You can see the data this contains all the information. They just remove something and then use them. For example, if they remove the try catch part, and then this is a new, you know, uh, training sample. So you can they can be test. Mm. So the data set contains all the information. They can remove part of them and then try to predict what. So they my next question is: Let's move back. So for the grammar, to your grammar, right? So this is a test oracle grammar, right? In this grammar, the root is the test t, right? And then they will consist of the oracle ep and rp, right? And each p consists of a lot of statements, and each. So, so will the neural network model generate trying to catch? We're not, right? No. So all, not. all my question is that is this grammar, the information grammar used for in the neural network model? 
Is that a used? No, 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 I don't. Mm. So the New York model was just to pre-train the test case and do something like classification and regression. And that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just use the grammar to generate the candidates. And the neural network will choose one of the candidates. Okay, let's move on, let's move on to see. How, so yeah, this paper, just looking the title is very exciting. But when we look into details, I just feel that it's not that, it is not that. And also- yeah, The experiment also not very interesting. The first is the, you know, the binary classification. Why, I don't know why he compared with the weighted coin model, but uh, he just uh, compared with that. And uh, the second is for the, you know, assertion. And uh, it compared with the sequence to sequence model. You can see that it can have a much higher performance on the in vocabulary accuracy. That means this test case, you know, you just mentioned if it's a 20, 10 plus 10 is 20, it will not, it will fail. But if it's, it is in vocabulary, it will success. Yeah, and uh, here is another, you know, a, a real world example. He tests on a real world facts and uh, you, the, this approach can have about 25% of the facts, or oh, not, not 25%, it can find a five, 57 facts compared with the baseline model, it will have a, a light. Um, how, what is experimental settings? It's going to find bugs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to find bugs and how does the US with plus ground truth work? This uh, truth means this is uh, how many bugs here? I'm asking, so given a program, right? And we don't know how many bugs this program has, does this a program have? So we're using either switch generate a test case, test test input, and this ground truth is manually defined, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. And how do they do that? You can think about it, either way will generate a thousands of thousands of test cases. And do we manually label the ground truth for every of them? Uh, I don't think they mentioned that. Maybe I no, they must mention this, otherwise the paper will get rejected. Uh, maybe I just ignore it. Uh, let me check. Oh, they evaluate on uh called defect four J benchmark, and. Uh, they consider a bug is found if a generator tests both fails on the buggy program and the passes on the fixed program. So, um, I mean, in that case, the TPs means TP and then just two positive means two positive. That means the test has a correct oracle and fails due to the buggy implementation. I'm asking how the even switch were not a non not a ground truth. So here I make them very specific. Even switch will generate thousands of thousands of test cases during execution. And if even switch say this found a bug, the test case must be connected with the ground truth, right? And how do they define the ground truth? I understand that uh, if it is fixed for J and there's a passing version, there's a failing version. So we generate a test case to satisfy the passing and the failings. But how do they def define the ground truth? So this is this is this is my question. Um, I read this paragraph again, but they didn't talk about that. They just said, uh, maybe I uh, take the part the paragraph here.
C says this test will generate from the fixed program version with regression oracle to about, about uh, obtain ground truth. Hmm. Do you see the, this line? I'm, I'm looking at, I'm reading it. Okay. I see, I see. So which means that they will guarantee Okay, you can remove that. Understand this. Okay, actually, you maybe you can explain to audience. Actually, I didn't quite understand. Okay, the, the point is that you can just remove the text. You can remove the text now, or you can just put a text into another new slice. Okay. Uh, the case is that uh, we so 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 there is a bug data set called defects for J, and in defects for J, each bug will have two versions. The version well, the failure can be observed, and the version where the, the bug has been fixed. So it's somehow to maintain it like this. So in this case, Eva Suite can run on the fixed version. So whatever input it is, its outcome will be the oracle, will be the ground truth. Am I right? Yes. So we can use this oracle to test the, the, the buggy version, right? So oh. which means that ground truth can be automated. Okay, okay, understand. Thank you. So that's all for this paper. No, 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 no. We still, we still in the discussion. So the hours. So they were using the. Hmm. I think the the experiment design is smart. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, seems a bit good performance. Is there any any? Oh. In a demographic analysis, they uh, also gave some examples. Uh, but I think it's quite hard to explain it because so equality. So so here there's so it's it claimed that it can generate oracle, right? And 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 what these oracles is coming from from a non-exception expected exception expected equalities non-point non assertion non exceptions so how this is how these assertions distributed uh, pardon please i didn't quite understand I'm, as, I'm asking how the oracle is distributed among different different types of the exceptions different types of assertions they didn't show that i didn't i just feel I, that the exception related is more more common Otherwise, it is a bit, a little bit hard. For example, just I'm saying we have a calculator and we input 10 plus 10, it is string, right? And the output is supposed to be 20. And there's no way to generate Oracle like this unless we now, we, unless we have a very large knowledge graph. Yes. Oh, they also says 82% of the assertions in the data set are in their grammar. That means their grammar can cover 82% of the hmm. test, yeah. Yeah, I think it is a very interesting topics for Oracle generation. Definitely it is, uh, we cannot have the, for these problems, it is undecidable, undecidable problems. Uh, definitely we cannot fully address these problems, but it's it interesting to say how far away can we push this work? Um, let me see these buggy implementations, regression oracle on safety oracle. Yeah, it just says that B and C fail and the toggle success. It is bad, right? So the, the oracle test, the great regression oracle test will be there. It's just there. So the toga should be the, have the same results as the regression oracle test. No, the toga asserts zero, the assert equals zero, but the regression asserts equals one, so it's false, it is wrong. And this is an example of toga is wrong. Toga is, is correct. You can see. This, this version, right, is regression oracle, right? Regression yeah. oracle means that there's a passing version and we generate oracle based on the passing version. 
So whatever the outcome, it will be the Oracle, right? Uh, oh, I'm not. I don't Oracle. think so. <laughs> I think this people have a different de definition. Hmm. In this, it it said it will miss the bag because because this is correct because because now the remove is wrong, so after use this assertion, it will also correct because the remove is wrong. It's still one. I think this is the uh, key values. The key value will insert. In. So it's assert. The picture A is the buggy function, the remove. I, 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 got, a, I got a point, I yeah, got a yeah. point. And the safety will be, yeah, because the remove value is okay. So there will no exception. Okay. Yeah, so I don't think it's and, and, and the reason why it will generate zero because the zero is the one of a constant, right? Yeah, one of the vocabulary in, in so this is there's no causality. So if I insert value, I replace zero as one. So the uh, the first parameters of the assertion equals will still be zero, but for them it will be becomes one. For the for the tall guy, it will generate gen, gen, generate the constant as one. Oh, the parameters one, am I maybe. right? Yeah, maybe. So okay. this is not a, so I think the, I think the most contribution, so is there the next slide? Yeah, and in the next slide, that's a similar example. Also the remove, insert and the remove. And the toggle will predict the zero, but the baseline will predict one. So toggle also success. And who is the baseline? Uh, I didn't remember, but no, 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 no. So here, here. So you found I have saying that. So you when you get a presentation, so definitely remove part of it, right? I understand you remove part of it, but I just feel that you just cut maybe over over half of. I think we have a very conservative estimation, and you cut over half, definitely over half of the experiment. Uh, I think I just follow because it's uh, the others also have a. You know, a video. And also have a, and also have the, you, so we need to have, you need to have a, you need to have a presentation which can inform all of us, right? I and understand they will have a video. is not in the paper. This example is from the video of the audience, or a video of the others. So I just copy one of the example here. This example is from the paper. So I'm, so I, Actually, I also don't know what's the baseline here. Yeah. Because I just referred to their video. They also gave a presentation about this paper. I think I cover all of the uh, presentations they give. Mm. So I have several concerns. One of the concerns is that whether they're except whether they're the oracle is just relevant to the exceptions. So in this case, we just need to make sure uh, that whether this exception expected or not expected, we will have a good oracle. And as for the other oracle, like equality, like the assertion true or not, true or false, or assertion none or not none. Um, I think assertion true or false and none or none, it is okay. We have a running guess, right? As long as the output is a Boolean variable or output is an object. So we can have a guess to say what is, what is not or not, right? So this is somehow easy to infer. I think the challenge part is about equality. So once we give an input and out, have an output of the string and have an output of the, uh, have an output of the numbers, it will be a huge problem. But, which, but given that their performance, I just assume that there's a large number of the assertions, which is not the equality assertion. Yes. Okay, so I think that's the work here. I think they make the first step towards Oracle generation, but there's still a large room to improve. And I think their contribution is more of the synthetic instead of semantics.
Okay, any, any questions for this work? Okay, if there's no questions, and let's thanks you fun. And uh, let's call it a day then. Thanks everyone for the attendance. Okay, bye everyone.